What's up everyone, Music Lover back with another episode, and today I'm going to do my PS4 collection. Let's go! First, I have Persona 5. This game is fantastic. Pretty much anything I've played with Atlas on the title, or like here in this corner, is amazing. I might be wrong, but all the games i played by Atlas have been fantastic. It's not as good as 4 in my opinion, but it's still really really good. I still highly recommend it. I got the Steelbook Edition, as you can see, because I got the Collector's Edition which is really, really, really cool. It makes it a little glary here on the camera, but other than that, it's pretty, it's gorgeous, I love it, the red, everything. But no, I got a video on this if you wanna check it out. It's gonna be in one of these corners. But anyway, we'll move on to the next game. The next game, I don't really like too much, but I picked it up because the hype around my school was really, really, really over the top, and my friend Nick was just like crazy about it. So I went and picked it up. It is Fallout 4. A lot of people like this game, I don't really like this game. I don't know what it is. Um, maybe it's the post-apocalyptic vibe. I don't know. It's just, it feel, I feel like I run around and do nothing. Maybe I'm just bad at it. I don't know. I just, that and those big aliens completely trash you for no reason. <laughs> They're mean. But no, I just wasn't feeling it. I might give it another shot, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. If you like it, I'm sorry. I just, eh. Not so much. Next, I got The Order. What is it? 1886. Don't buy this game. Visually gorgeous. Slow. Boring. Didn't even get halfway into it. The idea, the premise of it is great. But other than that, eh, not worth your time. It was a present, so I'm going to keep it. But other than that, I don't like it very much. I don't think I'm going to pick it up again. Next I have Ratchet and Clank. This game I absolutely love. I beat it in like two days. I love it. It's just as good, actually better than the original. Uh, my only complaint with this game would have to be you can only do one save file so it kind of feels like Pokemon. Um, yeah, that kind of sucks. Like I, I wanted to restart the game but it makes you like completely delete your file and I'm just not okay with that because I spent a lot of time on it, became invincible and everything. But no, other than that, this game is amazing, it's fun, there's lots to do, there's lots to collect, and I just enjoyed overall the entire experience of this. I can't wait for them to make another one if they do. Next I have a game that everybody loves, at least everybody that I know loves, is Crash Insane Trilogy. I didn't get to play the, the originals growing up. I, I don't know, I just had Spyro and like Final Fantasy IX and that was like my major titles growing up. So I decided to pick this up because everybody was super hyped about it. I wanted to see what it was about since I didn't get to play it when I was a kid. And I really, really love this. It's super fun, super difficult. There's been a couple times I've wanted to throw my controller through the TV. But other than that, it's really, really fun. I don't know, maybe I just suck at it, which could be, could be what it really is. But no, I've had a lot of fun with this. If you haven't picked it up, please do. So much fun. I'm hoping with the success that this one's had, they'll make the Spyros, because the Spyros is where it's at. I can't wait for them to remake those. Next I have my all-time favorite game series, Kingdom Hearts 2.8. This is just a mix of a remaster of 3D and then 2.8. Super, super fun. Um, 2.8 is only a couple hours, like there's stuff you can collect and items you can get. But I just focused on the story. I really, really love this because anything you put a van in, I'm automatically going to buy. And then you got that cover, which is okay. It was kind of like not worth the wait. <laughs> I feel like they cut out a lot that they shouldn't have. And then you've got just 3D, which is just a remaster. And it's a lot, a lot of fun. But I kind of wish they would have got rid of the drop sequence altogether because the drops are annoying. But yeah, Kingdom Hearts, always, forever, love it. Never gonna hate it. Gonna buy everything. Can't wait for three. Please play it. <laughs> so great. So fun. Story is gonna be even more messed up after you watch this part. Yeah, this part. But other than that, so much fun. Sora is awesome. Vin is the best. Anyway. Next I have Bioshock. Bioshock, um, I haven't played it so much. I played it a little bit and then got distracted with something else like normal. But it's something I really, really want to play. I've heard nothing but good things about it. I've watched some videos and it's visually gorgeous. 
I'm gonna play it when I get the chance. Um, I just gotta focus and actually put it in and start playing, but first I gotta beat Persona 5, cause I haven't beat that yet, and I got distracted by Crash. But other than that, super fun of what I've played. Um, I don't know, I just, I bought this because everybody was saying it was so fantastic, so why not give it a shot? I just have to get into it, is really all it is. Next I have The Devil May Cry. I'm guessing it's a remake, I don't know a lot about these games. But this isn't too bad. Um, I haven't finished it because, like I said, I get distracted by other games. I'm just one of those people that buy games, play for a little bit, get distracted by a new game. But no, from what I played, this is okay. It's pretty fun. It's not my type of game per se, but my friend really loves it, so I keep it around. And the character Dante is pretty fun. So, I don't know, maybe I'm just confused because I know this isn't the first one. So I'm not sure what's going on. If you guys know what's going on, please tell me. I'm lost. I don't know, it was fun, it was pretty, it was fun to beat shit up, I just, I don't know. It's okay, my friend loves it, I'm keeping it, but anyway, let's move on. Next I have J-Stars. Don't buy this game. Crash. The idea, wonderful, so excited, anime characters in this huge beat up fight game, super disappointed. I hope they make something better, but right now this, I'm just not impressed. I'm very, very sad because I love anime, I like fighting games, and this just, this wasn't it for me. Kind of a waste of $20, but I don't know. Stay away, I guess. I don't know, I don't have the best opinion in the world, but I didn't like this game. Let's move on. Next, if we want to talk about a good fighting game, in my perspective, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. If I pronounce Naruto wrong, I'm sorry. <laughs> but no, um, I've been playing this since the first one came out. Super, super fun. Naruto's not bad, but the story just is a cluster, and I just stopped watching it after the first series ended. Um, but no, the games are super, super fun. This is really fun for when people come over and you want to just completely trash them at something. Um, I play Sasuke for main. Uh, my boyfriend plays Sakura, and Sakura can be super OP, super ragey sometimes with her, but other than that, I really, really enjoy this game, and if you haven't tried it, I would definitely give it a shot, because they're a lot of fun. They become more button mashing than they used to be, but other than that, they're still pretty fun, so I would give it a shot. Next I have Assassin's Creed Unity. I don't know, I just... I don't know if I'm missing something, I don't know what the order is with these, but I did not like this game. I tried it for a little bit, didn't like it. Um, I don't know if I'm just off for times, I don't know if it's just not for me, I just this game was trash. I didn't like it, I'm sorry if anybody liked it. There might be a better Assassin's Creed game, but this one to me was not it. Next I have Minecraft Story Mode. This game's okay, um, I'd rather just play regular Minecraft. I'm not a huge fan of games like this where you pretty much just go about in a movie mode and select answers. I mean, the idea is cool, but I'd rather just play mi regular Minecraft. Um, it was a Christmas present, so I'm always going to treasure it, but I don't really, really play it because I just, I, I'd rather play Minecraft. You don't get to do a lot. Um, I really, some of these areas I want to explore, but it's mostly just select an option, go here, enjoy the story, and eh, I'd rather just play regular Minecraft. Next I have Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now I only bought this game because my brother absolutely loves it and I got a couple friends that absolutely love it. I'm not a huge shooter fan, but since they wanted to get it and since they come over sometimes, I bought it for them. I don't really play it when it's just me. Um, I get my ass kicked. Um, I don't know much about Call of Duty so I can't say much other than it's fun to play with friends. Next I have Guitar Hero Live. I really, really like this game. A lot of people don't because they changed up the guitar, but I personally really, really love what they did with it. I love the new challenge, I love feeling like a noob and I'm not super good at it where I have to play on expert mode in order to like actually get a challenge, but I really, really enjoy this. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the story mode, but the live TV mode is the absolute best. There's a huge selection of songs, you can go against people like on the internet and play with them, and you don't really have to use PSN or PSN Plus or whatever, PlayStation Plus for it, which is super, super nice because I was playing this way before that, like I even got that. But yeah, I really, really enjoy this game. It's a new challenge. The live section, like I said, is a little weird, but what you really want in this is the TV version because you get a lot more songs, a lot more options, and you get to go against people. Next I have 
Life is Strange. I haven't played this yet, but I've heard it. It is fantastic. That's why I picked it up. I just haven't played it yet, because like I've said, I grab a game because it looks cool, then don't touch it for a while. It's a very bad habit of mine. I guess that's just what you do. I don't know, but I've heard really good things about it. I have to try it. Next I have Battlefront. And I really like this game. That's all I really have to say about it. I just don't really like it. Um, I don't like the fact that you have to spend so much money after you buy the game. I like the idea because I love Star Wars, but this isn't the game for me. Sorry. Next I have The Last of Us, the remastered edition. I bought it because the hype is real for this. Um, I haven't played it all the way through. I played it a little bit. I really, really need to pick this up and play it. Anything by Naughty Dog is normally fantastic. I bought it just for the reason that it's considered like one of the best games ever. It looks amazing, I played it a little bit, but like I said, I get distracted easy and move on to a different game. This is just, just one of those games that I gotta re-pick up. I really, really wanna play it. I just, like I said, get distracted. <laughs> but other than that, I can't say much. I'm excited for the second one, but how can you really be excited when you haven't played the first one? Next I have one of my all-time favorite games, Final Fantasy X. And ten too. I don't really like ten too. I bought it for ten. <laughs> this game is amazing. I love it. This was the last Final Fantasy game on the PS2 that um, I really, really actually liked. I played this game so many hours, almost as much as 9. I love it. It's fantastic. You'll cry. Not as much as Crisis Core, but you'll still cry. It's amazing. Buy it. Play it. Love it. Become addicted. Play it. It's so great. Play it. <laughs> Next, I have another game that I picked up and still haven't beat. Final Fantasy World, or World of Final Fantasy. This game is super, super cute. I love it. I just, it was another one of those games I got on the hype train and then didn't finish it. I'm sorry. I have a bad habit. But no. I think it's really cute of what I played. I really need to finish it. I love how it incorporates all the other Final Fantasy characters. Really, really, really enjoy it. So far, I would highly recommend it. Go ahead and pick it up. Give it a shot. Kind of cutesy, kind of chibi, but I mean... It's adorable. That's all I can say about it, really. Next, I have one of my all-time favorite games that I spent probably over 110 hours playing this game. Final Fantasy XV. This game is fantastic. I have wasted my life away on this game. I thought I was gonna fail class because of this game. I didn't think I was gonna graduate college because of this game. I would come home, play this game. I've got more than 100 hours into this game. It's so, 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 so fun. It's got its problems, like the story needs to be fixed because there's a lot of what the fuck is going on, but it's it made my Final Fantasy love reappear. I thought it ended after 10 and Crisis Core and all that, I thought I was like, okay, Final Fantasy is just done, they're never gonna make a good game again, and then this came out, it was amazing, I don't know so much for the story, but the gameplay was fantastic, I spent so much time playing this. If you have not played this game, please, please play it. I love it. Can't tell you enough good things about this game. Next I have one of my all-time favorite series of all time. I've said that a couple times, but it's still up there. Uncharted, the first three. This is one of those games that I completely binged through. I finished it. I loved it. They're challenging. They're fun. The story is fantastic. You'll be on the edge of the seat until the end and there's some stuff that just blows your mind with the, like, the twists and turns. It's so, so great. If you have not played Uncharted, pick it up. Drop Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider's still good, but I feel like Uncharted completely knocks Tomb Raider out of the water. At least the old ones. I haven't played any of the new ones, but this game made me not want to play Tomb Raider anymore. Uncharted is just so great. Nathan Drake is the best. I just, I love this, and I actually really, really want to replay this because after Uncharted 4 came out, it just, it never ends. It's so, so, so good. Um, I would highly recommend this game if you have not played it. Please play it. They are so, so good. Not the longest thing in the world, but one of the most suspenseful and fun games that you'll probably ever play. And finally, the last of my physical copies. I'll do another video on my digital copies because that's a whole other list and the stack just keep growing with my physical copies. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you my last physical copy, which is Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. This is amazing. I was, I don't, I don't think I could be any more impressed. It's visually gorgeous. There were several times I would just sit, spin the camera around and go, ooh, oh, that's pretty. <laughs> like, I would drive people crazy 
just roaming around, not, like tapping on the shoulder and be like, you gotta look at this, it's so, so pretty. I just, this game is perfect. It ends great. I have no, like, bad things to say about this game. It's so pretty, it's so great. I love it. The combat in this is fun. Sometimes you sneak a little too much, I, I guess, would be the bad part, but I mean, it makes it fun. Um, I like sneaking around. It's a challenge for me because I'm not very good at it. I just want to shoot and run away. But other than that, it's absolutely fantastic. If you have not played this game, play this game. But first play the first three, of course, because then it won't really make sense to you. But I highly, 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 highly recommend this game. Pick it up, play it, enjoy it, love it, be addicted to it, and then pick up the new one that's coming out. <laughs> But anyway, thank you. That was my physical collection of my PS4 games. If you want to see my digital games, go ahead and leave it a comment below and I will do so. But I hope you enjoyed it. I didn't want to make this too long and add all of my collection because I got a few digitals. I didn't know how long this would be and I didn't know if you wanted to listen to me ramble the entire time. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you for the next video. Have a great day and peace.